Station. GameStop in Kettering, where you can pre-order a copy of Dragon Ball Fighters or Monster Hunter World. This is Ivan speaking. How may I help you? Hello, Ivan. Um, just wanted to check. Um, is is there any plans to bring out Monster Hunter World for the Nintendo Switch, or is it only the PS4 and Xbox? Uh, as of right now, it is only the PS4. For Monster Hunter World, it's only the PS4 and Xbox One. There is a Monster Hunter game called Monster Hunter XX on the Switch, but it is only out in Japan right now. Okay. So, as of right now, there there is no plans to bring it to the Switch right now, so we don't know. We kind of guess got to play by ear. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, so um, Monster Hunter World has just got um the first milestone on the day. Well, later on the night, people will get it at nine and twelve and shit like that. I have to wait until like two something in the morning to play it when I get home from work. Uh so everybody's lucky except for me. Um so um <clears throat> this is now the highest rated Monster Hunter. Not just for IGN, but what I found out for the whole series. Um so if you scroll down on the uh, review page, you, you have a preview of the video right there. It says 9.5. 9 uh, the highest Monster Hunter IGN ever gave to was... Uh, that was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. That's a 9.0. Uh, you can see Monster Hunter sitting at a 91 with 43 critics. Now, let's go see if the Xbox One version has some... No, still only has one review. I only did that to refresh it just to make sure to see if... Anybody else is reviewing the Xbox version for whatever reason. Uh, it seems like everybody's just reviewing the PS4 version. Um, I don't know what that's about. So, okay, we got Monster Hunter World at 91. Uh, what was the highest Monster Hunter, which was right here, that is Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. IGN had that um, as the as the first or the highest, uh, um, sorry, the highest rating Monster Hunter before Monster Hunter World, uh, but it seems like it's now taking a back seat um, because Monster Hunter World is just fucking awesome. Um, I'm not trying to spoil myself. I'm trying to look more at uh, creative characters, um, pictures and stuff like that, box arts. Um, I'm not really looking at any stories. I'm not looking at anybody's live streams, um, but it's it's impressive that the game is has 43 reviews and is still sitting at a 91 on Metacritic. That's pretty damn impressive. Of course, this is for the PS4 version of the game. Um, so, my plans, when I get home around 2 something in the morning, um, if you're following me on Twitch, you should get a notification letting you know that I'm going to be live streaming. Uh, I'm going to live stream Monster Hunter. I'm going to create my character on Twitch. After I'm done creating my character, I'm going to get off of the live stream. I'm going to take my ass to bed. Then I'm going to wake up. I'm going to try to play this game for the couple hours I, ha I, I have before I head back out to work. Um, so if anybody wants to add me on a PSN, I'm going to leave my PSN in the comment section I'm going to be doing shout outs I'm, and that means if you have a YouTube channel if you have a Twitch channel if you're going to be playing Monster Hunter and you're going to be in my videos I'm definitely doing shout outs um, I don't do them I'm going to start doing them for Monster Hunter so if you got Monster Hunter you got a YouTube channel you got a Twitch channel you're getting shout outs um, just so everybody knows I'm going to be taking lots of pictures and video clips they will be posted on my Twitter page. Um, also, uh, my private Instagram page or whatever. My Instagram page. It's not really private. It's public, but whatever. Um, my PSN information is there. Uh, also, um, it's over here, I think, on, on Twitter. Um, just wanted to show you something that a lot of people don't know. I'm on my PlayStation Legion account. Videos will be posted there as well as my JTAC TV 2 account, which is right under there. Um, this is my main account, okay? And I'm going to just show you what you should look for on um, on YouTube. So when you subscribe, or if you're already subscribed, um, you see this little bell. This is how you're going to get notified. Uh, it's very hard to keep up with the viewers on the live stream because I don't believe anybody's getting notified that the live stream is going live. 
Um, also, I guess it would help if I have a new video, you would know a little sooner than scrolling up and down your timeline. Um, but that's just for your little help. Um, the little bell thing is to be notified. Now, I'm not following a lot of people on YouTube. I post videos. I read the comment section. I deal with trolls. That, that keeps me busy enough. Sure.